Hello, my name is Dark Side Up, and this is my father lied demo. Is super loud. I can't investigate. Okay. Locked. Something's missing. A handle, probably. Okay. Is this a tab situation? What is this? Reset? Click on the door icon to enter it. Okay. But I would like to... Uh... Am I moving super slowly? Like, what's going on? Oh, is it a left? Okay. I guess so. It's a click and drag situation with the mouse. Okay. What's that? A dead person? Wait. Turn. Click on the hand icon to pick things up. Alright, let's uh, pick up this. A gun, yeah. Add it to a bag, but do I have a bag? Where's my bag? Okay, let's just look anyway. A letter. And it's in Arabic. Kadim's Kadim's locker is on the right. Samir's is in the middle. Leonardo da Vinci is rolling in his grave. Where my love is when Samir was born twice. Kadim's locker equals something. So drawing of an open safe with a skull inside it. Okay. That's it, I guess. What about here? It needs a key. Alright. Let's see if we can find one. Click on the notebook icon to check your notes. On the bag icon to check for inventory. Okay. Put the icons to. So, got my bag. Where my love is. When Summer was born twice, lock or something. Okay. Let's look at this painting. Suicide? Uh, maybe. I think I use. I'm used to this. Okay. Can I please turn? Alright. What does this say? To my wife, Heba... Ulahind? I guess that's Heba. My memory is tainted. I wasn't sure I was married. But my picture in my pocket and your letter before my deployment were the only things left from the outside world. Don't worry. We will defeat, we will defeat the invaders. Our scientists and leaders are working hard, but I don't remember what they do. I don't remember what they told me, or if they told me anything, except to guard the place from intruders. I isolated myself here because I don't remember the two officers who were with me, but I also have a picture of myself with them. Something made me forget. Maybe it's the thing they're working on. Whatever it is, I am willing to sacrifice. Forgive me if my message is short. I have a severe headache. Every day it becomes worse, and I can't bear it. As if something is pushing from inside. I hope to find a way to stop the headache. With love, Adil. Okay. I want to see this one. Kad Kadim, my close friend, heavy smoker, is in the picture, born in December. Samir met him recently, always loses his phone, asks a lot of questions, born in July. I forget who they are. Okay. 
and we turn. Not yet, okay. So right about here, I actually lost access to my mic for some reason. On the map, there is a heart with a number three on it. I spend the rest of this time trying to figure out what I'm doing. And the notes in the notes section, I was quite disappointed to see that it literally just said where my love is when Samir was born and all of that stuff. I would have liked it if we were able to actually write, make type up our notes. So there is a safe at the bottom left there and I'm going to attempt a few times. There are some dates on the notes with Kadim, with Samir, and there's also numbers on the lockers. I really wish the notes section was a little bit more interactive for me to type up my notes because I actually wrote down on a piece of paper everything so I could look at it properly. Finally, I figured it out. The answer is, which is the number three on the map, where my love is. And then Samir was born on July. So that's seven. And it says uh, twice. So seven, seven, three, seven, seven. And we get a peg and a handle. Checking the inventory, there we are, peg and handle. And now let's go to that gun rack. Oh yes, we were trying to see if we could figure out how to open this drawer. Okay, attaching our gun. And there's the other valve. Now that we have both valves, we need that to open the other gate. There we go. And here we are. So this is probably Kadim and Samir. Really straightforward, just connect the wire directly to the generator. It took me a while to figure out that I have to so just keep going, it'll automatically just run. I thought so was it there was a piece missing. And here we have another keypad that requires a code. Is there a code that was somewhere here that I didn't see? Because there's this guy, poor guy, but what about him? Can't even tell if he's a smoker. Uh, I can't touch this. Oh, I can. Ah, uh, this is probably... Samir and the other guy is Kadim. So got the key. All right. Got the key at least. Can we go back? Okay, we're going back here then to open that. There we go. Samir, you moron. The password is Grek... Grek old. Grek old. Grek old. That's... Oh, oh, I know. I think I know. No. Grek old. That is four. Four. R is 
seven, E is three, C is two, old is six, L is five, D is three. Let's see if that works. So that is four, seven. Oh my god. Four, seven, three, two, six, five, three. Yes. Excellent. Okay. What is this place? Translation of a German letter from 1575. Dear Len Leonhard, I've been informed through the two exporters in Tripoli that you have left Baghdad in order to treat patients in a village in the south. They say you found them with disfigured skin and hallucinating. I know you aspire to be noble, but what they describe to me is a waste of time. What you see there might be some kind of plague that you can do nothing about, but you can still do what I sent you for, and it is to find herbs and medicines for our company. I beg you to return to Baghdad and Mosul, for you will not be able to cure what they call there. As I have been told by our friends in Tripoli, the curse of the ancient masters of the land, the north is safer for you than the south in the kingdom of the Ottomans. My sin your sincere friend, Melchior, director of the Minelik Pharmaceutical Company. Okay. Artifacts in the lower shelves are from Assyrian era. Recognize the ones on the top. What are they? That's Gertrude Bell. Miss Gertrude Bell, adventurer, explorer, and archaeologist, spy. She drew the Iraqi borders. She was born July 14, 1868, into a wealthy family in Washington, New Hall, England. Currently known as Dime Margaret. She died on July 12, 1926. From the overdose of sleep from an overdose of sleeping pills. Maybe it was suicide or assassination. Okay. Mesopotamia, 2500 BC. And then this is Mesopotamia, 2500. That's over 1000 years difference. Wow. I can't access that one. Oh, I can. Mesopotamia, 1500 BC. And this one is 1000 BC. Merged for the first time, creating a single river. The Sha'at al Arab. Hmm. Francis Chesney never read about him. These notes paved the way for the events that will save our country and guarantee peace for its people. Some memoirs of Francis Ch uh, Chesney during his travels on the Euphrates Road. It's bordered up. I think that's all. Let's see if I can go to the mi middle. No, I cannot. But can I turn here and look at that? Aha, yes. Obelisk found in 1865 in Nine Nineveh. Nineveh. Translation. Shalmaneser III, great king, strong king, king of the world, king of Assyria, king of countries, builder 
Builder, the Palace of Kala, heir of Ashurnasirpal. He is me, having considered, literally carried to mind, the sufferings of our Aribi allies. Shalmeser III, he is me, conquered, Hera's evil, buried, his effects, healed his victims. Hera, the god of plague, literally the infectious curse, was hidden under the sea of the past, is now hidden under the sands of the present, died of suffocation, literally without air. Testament to the power of Shalmeser III, and testament to the friendship of Shalmeser III, who is me, and the friendship of King. Of all Are Aribi, who is Jundob, his name is Jundob, Arabic for grasshopper. Whoever does not testify, believe, or change my obelisk, or destroy my name, write his name, bury it with dirt, throw it with water. May the god Enel, Adad, and the king of the country pluck his offspring. May he and his army not stand before the king facing him. May the god Nergal seize by sweeping force his treasures and the treasures of his country. May the god Ishtar, the mistress of the battle, sweep away his weapons and the weapons of his army. May the god Ashur, my personal god, be lurking in evil for him forever. Note this obelisk, obelisk may be one of the oldest historical record of people called the Arabs. Huh. Anything else? Can I go here? Ah. Melchior Chesney Bell Obelisk. Thank you for the advice. We won't forget it. Okay, more code. I'm going to write this down because it is easier to decipher it when I physically write it down than it is using the notebook that's given to us. So... Is it written at all? Bell dead obelisk. Okay, so let's first look at Mel Melkor. Written in 1575. To Trepoli director. Okay. Chesney. Chesney is I think that guy, right? Isn't it that guy? Okay, let's just look at Belle real quick. Um, she was born July 14, 1868, died July 12, 1926. Okay. And then this one. Obelisk. Obelisk was found in 1865. Okay. Did I look at this? Mm. This is. <gasps> What is this? Wait, I didn't look at this before. This is page one today, March 12th. Arrive in George Canning's ship with all the materials needed to build our sea boats for our expedition along the Freights River. I don't know how long we will stay here, but I believe that we will be able to secure our new route. Take us to India with this waterway from Anatolia of crossing through the southern coast of Africa and in order to ensure the King William's Fort's land King William the Fort's land would remain safe from Russian expansion preventing any threat to British rule in India the blessing of our ally the Sultan and after a year of preparation we started our journey from Anatolia on the 16th of May on the 16th day of March to Orn which will immortalize this day the success of our expedition and so that the people may not forget the one the shortest way to India. The day started with a good weather and full of promise. Then it ended with a disaster. A storm and heavy rain fell upon us. We barely saved ourselves, but we lost the other boat. We found out 
some we found some survivors and when we reached the city of Ara, I ordered the survivors to go home since we could not afford to pay them after such a loss. St. Anna for historical research. Our epic speaking companion from Anatolia says, The people here are very happy and never had such hospitality before. I noticed that there is some sensitivity between the northerners and south southerners. Said that this is due to religious reasons. But after I listened to what the people in the streets say, it seems to me that it was more a political reason than a religious one. A strange thing happened. For some reason, and after we set off from An Anna, I forgot one of the crew members, my friend Annie's Anniesworth. Did we mention him? No. Back in the port. I don't know how it happened. Not only he is my friend, but also he is my he is a surgeon and a geologist. That is to say, he is one of the most important people on this journey for after me. He had to walk for two days to catch up with us. We had to stop on the banks due to an engine fa failure. Meanwhile, we found ourselves surrounded by half-naked people. The interpreter spoke to them for a while and told us that we were not welcomed. They seemed sick and their limbs were very small. When I asked my interpreter why they did not accept us, he said simply that this region is cursed and that whoever stays here for too long, Ira, the translator, does not know this word means, will take years from your life. He will take your health and he will take your sanity. Ira is a god, they mentioned in Obelisk. I saw one of them pointed, pointing to a deformity on his face. Not even Annisworth knew what caused it. We were so disgusted by what we were seeing. Some of them even vomited in front of us. The interpreter told us at the, end, in the, at the end that we must leave the place, or else you will not be able to leave like them. We made our way to the sea, and I told Annisworth to change what he wrote about these people. He only said that we had met little people in the marshes, not wanting to lose the support of our funding officials, who most of them are superstitious. Okay. Six pages. 1835. There's no other year, I think. Yeah, 1835 is the only year here. Shat al Arab. Is this Shat al Arab? Yes. That's when the tomb is creating a single river, the Shat al Arab. Shat al Arab is on 1000 BC. So, of course it's locked. Where do we enter this? Can't go through, obviously. But what about here? Aha! Okay, the first one is one, one, five, seven, five. The second one is 1835. Next one is 1868. No. Ah, shit. Wait. What did this say? Did it say the word die? Die. This one, the death day, not the birthday. Okay. Oh, okay. The first one is the fifteen seventy-five. Second one is eighteen thirty-five. After that is Bell's death year, nineteen twenty-six. Yeah. And then obelisk is 1865. No? Maybe they have to be added. So 1865 plus 1000. Six. Okay, let's do that over. Uh oh. Ah. 
I wish there was an erase button. someone walked by in old times the witch doctors treated people they told them to stay away from dirty places because in there lived demons too small for our eyes to see they entered the body and caused us to become ill today we call them microorganisms viruses bacteria parasites what was once accused as a curtain magic is now called science Thank you for playing my demo. Ah, the speakers will remain buried for now. Nicely done. Nicely done. That was my father lied. Available for you to try out on Steam. Link is in the description. Good job, Dev. This was fantastic. I love history puzzles. So this was really, really fun to do. My only suggestion would have to be for us to have more utility of the notebook that you provided. You gave us a notebook. It put notes there that the player's mind might not recognize or accept. I had to make my own notes. I have two sheets of paper here with the information so I could do your puzzles. I enjoyed the puzzles. They were quite challenging to do, but the option to write down on the notes itself or to click on things or some some way for us to do it in your game rather than me writing it down physically would help a lot in terms of the usefulness of that notepad apart from that thank you so much for letting me play your game thank you so much for reaching out and suggesting your game for me to try out thank you guys for hanging out with me today and if you like this video please leave a comment like and subscribe see you next time bye